Hello all, with part 5 we are now starting our operations. First we will face mill. It's almost the first operation on all parts. Just planning a face or roughing down so we get uh, a nice start. I will open up a simple part and here you see with view and I can show the axis crossing here. I will simply add the first job, it's the part test A. And you see with the defaults we're setting the boundary here, the boundary box, the raw material. And let's say it here we go here on two millimeters. So we have something to mill down. Inside the operation is our default tool. We will use it this time. I will get here 400 on the standard axis and 100 on the vertical. So the spindle I will go for 800. And here on diameter we'll add here 10 millimeters for standard bit to get over the feet here. OK. And now we mark the face. Select the face here. And the operations here is this is the standard contour pass, the contour pass for faces, contour pass for edges. The next one is our pocket. Then we got drilling, we got engraving, and we got facing. This one we use and it gives us a standard zigzag mode. We don't use the zigzag mode. Well, let, let's do it that way the zigzag mode. The base geometry is the selected face. We can add here something more. And the depth we start at 2 millimeters. We will mill down to zero. I add here zero so it knows it and we step down with one millimeter per uh, per depth here. The heights is given I uh, will go for ten millimeters clearance and say five millimeters for the safety height and the operation again. There is material allowance if I hit now get it you see here it stays inside the boundary with material allowance we got the 10 millimeter cutter so we should add 12 millimeter at allowance and it runs over so uh, 12 millimeter is a little a little bit if I hit 2 on the numpad we see how fast it runs over so we are fully outside now and you see it's a zigzag mode. The modes are here. With, let's go with a standard offset mode. Agree. And it breaks down. So no offset mode here. This here is just the outside, the boundary. And with the spiral, we are, we are still in development. So it's not what you may expect in some places with the zigzag mode here and I will give it a zero. You see here it runs straight over. And we have also line mode. The line mode is not offset here. I will do that soon. So also we can offset for a mill that is not uh, stable enough to get a zigzag pass. It's better to run a line mode so it will uh, only go up and down. Here, all run only one direction. So conventional will do it uh, to the other side. Should do it to the other side. And we're going, we should have a zigzag, uh, let's, let's say, crit. 
credit will run over so we have uh, a smooth plane with no crit signs and triangle will run the 45 degrees with some lines in it okay standard bounding box and let's go zigzag offset there we go this is what we like to see with a not that big offset let's go 40 percent and the offset we go down to six millimeters so let's run this on a simulation the simulation is done and this should be your geek code okay I will hit the simulation off as you see it run first outside so if you hit if you get here more offset 12 millimeter you will see it runs just across the corner to cut this off so you will have no uh, no rip or no crit or no no spare here overrun um, and the geek code comes within hitting so let's say it's the fifth and here's your straight line geek code for this operation and this goes to the machine so see you next I hope I could help you and if you have any questions go to the IRC channel or just ask here on YouTube we will help you and try to get the best out of your system